Hello traders, so it's Benicky from the Bankers Club and on this video I'm going to very quickly talk you through the confluences that I used in order to take my trades this morning where I got short from up here and long from down here uh, for my area of supply and demand. I did actually post already one of the screenshots into the Discord community where all our mentorship students doing our course get access to and they can see my reasonings and positionings uh, for my trades. So let's give it a that now. So uh, got short this morning, as I say, from this area of supply. I did actually draw these levels out yesterday doing my pre-market analysis, it being a Sunday. And I did actually post it on the Instagram, funnily enough. So uh, they played out perfectly, pretty much to the pip. Um, so I had this lower high here as an area where I thought there'd be resting limit orders sitting there with some liquidity above. And we had also the value area high. So that was a suitable supply zone for me. And then this morning I had the double value area lows and also the point of control there. So that was a reason for me to be able to get my positioning in. So I obviously needed more confluence than that. And uh, we could see, I'll flick onto this chart, that we also had my absorption study trigger showing that passive uh, sell limit orders were being filled there as well. That was a good confluence, but I also had on top of that, the order flow confluence of the footprint chart, which I'll just quickly drag over from one of my other screens for you to see. Hopefully, right. And we could see Frankfurt, 7 a.m. So we had at VWAP, at Frankfurt, aggressive selling coming in with a buy side delta, but price failing to break VWAP. That was telling me absorption was taking place there. So we had aggressive sellers being absorbed at VWAP, which is this magenta line by passive sellers. So that was my confluence for getting short, given my other confluences on my profile charts, which I just spoke about. We could then see price started auctioning down. Those buyers then obviously were in drawdown. Would have had their stops taken out again here. This is coming into London Open, 8 a.m. We could see again on this white line going here, which is the minus one standard deviation. The same thing happening again. Buyers trying to buy just before London Open, getting absorbed on the minus one standard deviation by uh, passive sell limit orders. We then got aggressive selling taking place and the market started auctioning lower, as you can see. Let's just pull this back up quickly. So yeah, we then sold off down to here and then the market reversed again got the delta flip to the buy side which is where i've got my long positions in then having took profits on the shorts um and then the market as you can see is now done a pullback so let me just minimize this chart again that one down there so i had area of demand which i'll show you on this day chart So short from up here, took profits on the shorts. This is my area of demand here. We've got a single print area, which is a dotted line. We've got a high volume node there. And it's also emphasized on, the, emphasized on that study as well. So that was an area of demand for me, plus a previous point of control, plus a previous point of control. So significant previous activity had took place in this area. Very valid area of demand that was for me. Um, but obviously, as I say, I can't just go by one chart. I need more confluences than that. And we can see the same principle on this custom session chart as well. In that we had in that same area, the double value areas, point of control, high volume nodes, valid area demand, sweet. And then we just need to watch the order flow on the footprint chart where we could see that we had the aggressive selling coming in as we were selling off into the point of interest. We had some activity with buyers. We then got absorption taking place. 
where we had aggressive sellers getting absorbed by passive buyers. We then got the Delta flip to the buy side. Market participants started getting aggressive, stacked in balances form. Up we go. So I've got long from down here. And I personally was happy taking profits here at VWAP, as I always do. That's a safe place for me to take profits. I could have left the runner going for the other side of the deviation bands. Um, but for me, I'd already made my money on the shorts. So this was just a bonus trade for me. So closing at, at VWAP was uh, quick and easy. Um, Let's get off of the footprint chart. So that's what the footprint chart looked like to validate the shorts and the longs. Also, this study triggered absorption again, telling me that there was basically uh, aggressive sellers getting passively absorbed by buy limit orders, having previously got absorbed up here as well. So damn accurate. Delta divergences were taking place coming into the area of interest. I could see that on uh, this chart. I'll just pull that one over. Delta divergences. Fade back to VWAP. Safe. So uh, that was, in a nutshell, my reasons for taking the trade this morning. Multiple confluences. Um, if you're new to order flow, check out the rest of my videos on YouTube um, and also my links. And uh, if you want to get involved on our course and get access to all my charts that I use, including all my current latest calibrations, then uh, they'll be in my link somewhere on my profile or in my bio or in the comments. So uh, all that said, hope you got a little bit of value from uh, these videos and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, take it easy traders and I'll see you soon. Over and out. <laughs>